Hello. Today, I will introduce the draining type oil water separator that I invented. Actually, my goal is to make an oil recovery ship. Two major oil spills at Korea, by Sea Prince in 1995 and Hebei Spirit in 2007, made so sad. I vaguely thought it would be good if spilled oil could be recovered at once, and after a long time, I researched oil water separation and oil recovery ship. I am expecting this oil separation technology will be able to make an oil recovery ship that can recover the spill oil immediately. Of course, to achieve this purpose the ship would have to be built for the specific purpose. But I can't mention all here now, so if there is a chance, I will. The oil water separator that I made consists of four components. First, main body, where oil contaminated water comes in and gathers. Second, valve, installed at outlets of main body for water and oil, are opened and closed by the controller. Third, sensor module, detects water and oil approaching or moving away from each outlet, and sends the value to the controller. Fourth, the controller, opens and closes the outlet valves according to the values received from the sensor modules. By the way, the main body that accepts oil contaminated water should be a little longer from front to back, because the sensor module has to be installed in a place where the oil contaminated water flows in and the water and oil layers are stably separated. However, the experimental body is made small because for the purpose of the experiment it is assumed that the water and oil layers are already stably separated. In a word, it is an MVP with only basic and core functions. Now I proceed with the test. Normally, with power off, the drain valve remains locked. When the power comes on, both valves open and water is draining. But oil is not yet draining because it is lower than the oil outlet. As water drains, oil moves down and approaches water outlet. Water drain valve needs to close before oil enters water outlet, but it's finally closing. Let's try again, add more water. Oil moves away from water outlet, water drain valve opens to let water out. Then oil comes back down, so of course water drain valve closes. It closes just in time. Sensor detects oil approaching water outlet and sends a signal. Controller closes water drain valve. Sensor and controller do the same when oil moves away from water outlet. Now, let's also see the oil drain valve in action. The oil surface rises above the oil outlet and oil flows out. However, this time, water is approaching the oil outlet. Oil drain valve should be closing quickly by now, but still draining. It closed. Does it seem late? Actually, it closed early, not late. After closing early, oil in the drain pipe comes down slowly because of oil viscosity, so it looks late. Although water is now higher than oil outlet. Oil drain valve is already closed, so water can't drain out of oil outlet. Now the water is going down below the oil outlet. Water moves enough below oil outlet, oil drain valve opens, oil is released. Oil drains significantly slower. Because height from oil outlet to surface is much shorter than that of water. The shorter height makes lower pressure and slow drain. Oil surface has dropped below oil outlet and oil has stopped draining. Now that oil approaching water outlet, water drain valve will close. Let's look at the behavior of both valves again as a whole. Discharge amounts of water and oil seem small but it's not a problem at all. This separator is very small, capacity of about 3.5 liters. 
with dimensions of 15 cm long, 10 cm wide, and 25 cm high. To increase discharge, make container and outlet larger or add more outlets. For large discharge amounts, by installing a pump at discharge pipe. Controller can synchronize it with valves to force discharge. To drain a large amount of water quickly, a sluice type outlet might be good. If amount of contaminated water generated per unit time is about constant. Then put a separator of sufficient size and output to handle that amount. As long as powered, it works continuously 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. I don't think discharge amount would be a problem under normal situations. Frankly, the discharge amounts were not my core challenge. The first challenge was complete separation, 100% separation. Because I had not seen technology that completely separates water and oil. May 2011 in US at Wendy Schmidt Oil Cleanup X Challenge of 1.4 million prize. The highest separation rate was 90.7%. In other words, 10% water and 90% oil are still mixed together. Indicating their separation is incomplete and need a second separation. So, my goal was set as 100% separation requiring no more separation. Second challenge is technology or tool for 100% separation should be simple. The existing separators are either large or complex in structure. Requiring a large place and a lot of costs for installation, maintenance and operation. A simple method and technology of separation with max efficiency and less cost. This was the second challenge. The third and final challenge was continuity and automation of separation. Continuous separation must be accompanied by automated control. To avoid human involvement in continuous separation, automation is necessary. Continuous separation is not easy with traditional separators for several reasons. If these three challenges were overcome, separation discharge amount would be a side issue to me because it can be sufficiently addressed by making the separator larger or by using tools like pump today's experiment demonstrated the sensor module and controller can control continuously and automatically 100 percent complete separation of water and oil as seen in the experiment based on the average discharge of oil contaminated water my draining type oil water separator could be installed by determining size of body, the number and size of outlet. There is no need for large reservoirs and separation facilities and no need for vehicles or long pipelines to transport oil contaminated water from various sources, because you can install a separator of the right size at the site of oil polluted water generation, discharge the water at the site, and collect only oil right away. Operating costs are minimal, almost zero. Since it operates automatically 24 hours a day, no extra management is required, and electricity is needed only for operations of sensor module and valves. That's all for today. Many thanks for watching.